Johnny Padres goes in first. Here's Chris's Wildcat. Severin. Hart tells the next one to step forward here. Moves into stall two. Combat zone now coming up. Here's Cunning Munnings. And Cerulean will be the last one in. Stepping forward. Cerulean going in. And they're all in line. They're off. Johnny Padres out for the early lead. Joined on the inside by Hartel, who comes on through in company with Cerulean from the outside. Then it's Chris's Wildcat down toward the rail, followed by Severin Cunning Munnings. Johnny Padres had that good start, but is taken back second last. Combat zone trails the field. Hartel is the leader as they run for the far turn on top by three quarters of a length. Cerulean running in second, Chris's Wildcat. Third and saving ground, two lengths off the lead. And then it's Severin. Cunning Munnings out there three wide. Johnny Padres biding time. Five and a half lengths off the lead. And Combat Zone swings up on the far outside. They're into the stretch. It's Cerulean on the outside. Hartel down toward the rail. Chris's Wildcat is next. Johnny Padres fourth on the inside. Cerulean strikes the front. A 16th out and starts to edge away. Johnny Padres closing late between horses. It is Cerulean. To win it over Johnny Padres, then a photo between Chris's Wildcat and Hartel. Number eight, Cerulean was first. Number three, Johnny Padres was second. There's a photo for show. Hold all tickets. Final time, 56.96. Number two, Hartel was third. Number one, Chris's Wildcat was fourth. It's official. Eight three two one. In the upcoming eighth race, scratch number eight, Flying Charlie. Post time three fifty five.
Returning to the run, happy winner circle is Cerulean. The three-year-old Bay Colt by Square Eddie out of Miss Zooter by Inticab. Owned by Redham Racing, trained by Ben Cecil, and ridden by Mario Gutierrez. The winner was bred in California by the owner.